Hi everyone and welcome to your post-workout slow flow stretch. I'm excited to bring you this practice after I've done a workout so that way I can stretch and feel good with you. Feel free to grab your yoga mat or wherever you are practicing and let's get started. Let's go ahead and bring our bodies down to seated if that's okay. So have a seat on the earth for me. And then if you are just uncomfortable in this seat due to maybe your low back, your sit bones, maybe just crossing your knees doesn't feel good, you can let your legs come out a little bit more if you need to. You can also sit up on a block or a pillow. A nice little sunbeam coming in over here. And then just bring your hands to your heart, close your eyes, and just take a moment for yourself. So you made it, you arrived, you're here together to move. Maybe you're here to alleviate pain or tension. Maybe you're here to start your morning with movement and joy and some meditation within your breath. Or a small combination of those items. Or this is on your list of things you want to add in, you want to feel good about and with. Let your hands release to your lap, keeping your eyes closed. We'll just take another moment here to find a little bit of stillness within our body, a little bit of softness within our breath. And sometimes just sitting still is the hardest part of today's movement. Breathing through tension or being with your own thoughts. And sometimes if we can allow the thought to enter, we can process the thought. And then we can allow the thought to leave, then we can clear our mind. So I encourage you today to do that. Good. Take a full breath in together. Breathe in through the nose. Open mouth. Exhale. Let it go. Again, breathe in through your nose. And big exhale, let it out. Good. Blink your eyes open if they're still closed. We're going to transition to tabletop hands and knees together. So you're going to spread your fingers nice and wide. You're going to move your hips from side to side. Good. And then we're going to take our hands one at a time if you need to. Flip them around for me. Stretch your wrist. Good. You might need to move your watch. So there my watch was a little tight to my wrist. And you might not be able to do both hands, so maybe do one hand and then the other. Good. Exhale, turn your hands forward. And then a simple pose here, cow. So you're going to stick out your bum. You're going to lift your heart. So you're going to feel your glutes lift up behind you. You're going to drop your tummy and then push your chest forward. Exhale, round the spine for me by picking up through the back muscles. Draw in through your belly muscles. Feel your body lift up, up, up. Good, repeat, inhale, here's your cow pose. So also think extension of the spine. So same thing as if you were leaning back. Exhale, flexion of the spine is your cat pose. Good, from here, we're gonna slowly bring ourselves up onto our kneecaps. And again, if your surface is really hard, you can always use a blanket or a towel beneath your knees. Step your right foot forward. And notice my right foot didn't step super close to my knee. My right foot took a big step forward, which is going to give me a lot more balance. And I just want you to slowly ease into your stretch here. Feel your hips move forward. Notice how tight or how good it feels. Good. Exhale, release, and just switch sides. So bring your knee down, big step up, grounding through your foot, and then maybe sink forward. Good. And again, you might want to stay back here if you're feeling really tight. Otherwise, again, move forward. Good. Exhale, bring it back, and then return to tabletop. Take your right arm all the way up to the sky. Big breath in, and I want you to reach with your fingertips. We're going to take our right arm underneath our left arm. Don't lay down, though. Just tease the twist. So extend, and then we're going to inhale, raise our arm all the way back up. Good, let's do that twice more. Tease the twist, come through. Good, inhale, reach back up. And then you're gonna do that one more time. Exhale this time, stay here. So go ahead and feed your arm through, lay your ear down. 
push into your palm here on the left palm. And then just notice kind of a little release maybe in your low back. Some of you may not be able to put your head on the ground. So you can always have a block underneath your head. You can have a pillow underneath your head if you don't own yoga blocks. Push down through your left hand. Raise your right arm back up. We're going to find our first plank before we do the other side. So extend your arms. Reach back through your heels. You can take a knee down plank or a high plank. It's up to you. Good. Reach your heart forward. So that means push your chest forward. Good. Notice how when I did that, I kind of moved forward in the balls of my feet. Now push back. And you can do the same thing on your knees. Take a full breath in. Exhale. Bend your elbows. We're going to come all the way down to the earth. Good. Tops of your feet are down. Squeeze your elbows in. So you're going to come into cobra pose. You can also straighten your arms extending a little higher, making your cobra a little bigger if you'd like to. Good. Exhale to go flat. Twice more. So again, squeeze your elbows. The space between the shoulder blades starts to firm. That's your scapula. Stay low or lift higher. Exhale, come down. And don't force a big lift if it's not for your body, okay? Again, hug in and then come up a little bit or even more. Exhale, this time push back, child's pose. Hips touch your heels, forehead touches the ground, arms extend forward, and your breath slows down right here. Good. Again, if your head has trouble reaching the earth, you can lay your head on a pillow. Otherwise, you can even turn your head so you can stretch your neck on one side and then turn your head, stretch your neck on the other. Good. On your next inhale, we return to tabletop, hands and knees. All right, let's do the other side. Left arm all the way up. So this is thread the needle, but we're adding a dynamic movement first. So we're tapping, and then we're reaching up. And this is creating mobility in our spine. It's called T-spine mobility, which is thoracic spine mobility. So that's the middle section of your spine. Good. Now let your arms stay down this time. Exhale your ear down. Relax. Three. Hopefully you feel something releasing low back, side body. Two. Return your left arm all the way up. We go back to high plank for the second time or knee down plank. So remember, your knee down plank is right here. Your hips are slightly forward. Your belly's drawn in or you're in high plank. Hold for three. Good. This is going to take us to our first down dog in two. Exhale, lift up and back. Downward facing dog. Look at your toes. Bend your knees. So the tighter you are, the more you want to bend your knees. But generally, the tighter we are, we tend to straighten our legs because we think that's what we're supposed to do. But instead, let your knees bend. All right? So like I just worked out, I just moved my body. So now that I'm doing yoga, which of course is still a workout, it's just less intense, I need to bend my knees. My hamstrings are tight, okay? And I want you to feel that same stretch. Now bring your shoulders forward over your wrists, come back to plank so you can feel the difference. Here's your plank. If you need to, put your knees down. Good, exhale, push back. Here's your down dog. From your downward facing dog, we're going to inhale, look to our hands, step your feet forward. So walk it up. And again, if you're tight, you bend your knees more. Everybody bend your knees a good bit here. We're going to grab opposite elbows. And I invite you to sway with me from side to side. So we're releasing tension in the low back. We're releasing tension in our hamstrings. We're shifting our energy and our weight left to right. And if your feet are tingling, that's normal. If you're feeling a pull through your low back, that's normal because you're folding forward. Both of your hamstrings should be feeling a bit of tension, maybe the backs of the knees. And then let's take our fingertips, crawl up our legs. Here's your half lift up your spine. Inhale, lengthen. So stick out your bum, reach your heart forward. Good. Exhale, fold forward. Let's repeat that pose. Inhale, halfway lift. So you should be able to put your water bottle on your back as you reach your heart forward. Good. Exhale, forward fold. 
Now bring your feet together for me. You're going to place your hands on your hips. We're going to slowly stand all the way up together. Exhale, release your arms. Good. Inhale, reach all the way up to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Bring your hands back to the mat. Good. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, fold. We're going to stand together again. Inhale, rise all the way up. This time, take your arms in a giant circle. You're going to hold your low back for me here. You're going to pull your elbows in, and you're going to push your heart forward. Good. Exhale, bow down slowly and release. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Now we're going to take our left foot, step it back on the mat. Lower your left knee back down. You've been here before. We moved from the back to the front of the mat last time. Now we're moving from the front to the back of the mat. Good. Put your right hand on your right thigh. That's going to help you bring your torso up. Raise your left arm up. Send your hips forward. Extend your hips. Three. Good. Elongate your spine. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Two. And then exhale, put your left hand down. Now pick up your back left knee for me. Squeeze your glutes. Raise your right arm as you twist. Open up through your chest. Reach your fingertips high. Push through your back heel more. Good. Really create space. It's okay if this is feeling challenging, especially if it's new for your body. Give yourself a little bit more room. Open up. Good. Right hand comes down. Put your back knee down. Now walk your back knee back a little bit. Boom. Straighten your front leg. And then you might even want to slide your right heel forward. And then this is called half split pose. So as we fold over our shin together, I want you to feel the opening in the back of your right hamstring. Some of you may be a little bit more upright just because you're tight. And again, if you are, you can have blocks underneath your hands if you have those at home. And fold. Good. I want you to play around with your right foot a little bit here. Maybe try to push down on the gas and then release. Good. Two more. Push and release. So we're pointing and flexing the toes. One more. Good. Pull your toes back. Hold. Nice. Exhale. We're going to drag our heel slowly back. Rebend your knee so that you're back to your lunge position. And then we're going to step back to where we came from. Ready? Left foot meets right foot. Good. Inhale. Halfway lift. Exhale. Forward fold. Inhale. Stand tall. Arms all the way up. Continue circling the arms. Keep going. Keep going. Hold your low back. Good. Squeeze your elbows in. Lift your heart. Good. Exhale. Keep holding your low back as you fold forward back to your mat. Inhale to lengthen halfway. Let's step the right foot back this time. Second side. Good. From here, we lower the right knee. Sink your hips forward. Place your left hand on your left thigh. Raise your right arm up to the sky. Lift your heart. Three. And again, I'm sinking my hips forward because it's comfortable, but you might not be that open, so maybe pull your hips back some. Two. And then exhale on one. You're going to put your right hand down on the earth. You're going to pick up your back right knee slowly. And then you're going to twist, lifting your left arm to the sky. Good. Feel your body open up a little bit more. Continue to create space as you push through your back heel. Notice your hip if it's popping out. Try to draw it back in. Grow a little bit bigger, a little bit taller. Exhale. You're going to slowly release your left hand down together. Good. Put your right knee down. Now walk your knee back a little bit. Start to straighten your left leg. Now slide your left leg forward some. And then you're going to gently fold over your shin. So half split on this side as you fold. And again, you might be a little bit more upright or you might be a little bit more low over your leg. Good job. And then feel free, point and flex your foot. 
I'm going to do it three times. We did it on the other side as well. Good. And then feel your toes lift up. Notice the stretch here in your hamstring. And then we're going to drag our heel back those few inches that slid forward. Rebend your knee. This time we go to the back of the mat. High plank. Three, two, one. Step it back. Chaturanga is your push up. Lower. Back bend is called cobra or up dog based on your movement. Exhale, lift your hips. Second down dog of practice, bend your knees and relax. If this is really challenging for you, put your knees down during down dog. Good. We're going to raise our right leg up high from down dog together. Exhale, step your right foot forward between your palms. Bend your back knee a little bit for balance. Bring your hands to your hips as you come up. And then raise your arms, high lunge. Good. Keep your knee bent forward. Keep your fingertips high. We're going to open arm twist to the right. So we're going to bend our back knee a little bit. I'm going to turn my spine towards you as I turn towards my wall and rotate. I want you to feel your right arm move further back. I want you to feel your left arm move forward. Place your right hand on your low back for balance. Keep twisting. Good. Inhale, bring both arms straight up into the air. Exhale, bring your palms down to the earth. Good. We're going to pivot to our left wide-legged straddle. So turn all 10 of your toes. Your butt is high, and you're going to drop your chest down low. Feel your head fall low towards the earth, and then maybe just look left and right. should feel nice to release some tension in your neck. Ground your right hand below your shoulder. So don't ground your hand right between your feet. Walk it forward some. And then raise your left arm up to the sky, opening up towards the back of your mat. Three. Maybe you can see your thumb in the air, too. Good. Exhale, switch sides. Go ahead and ground down through the left. Raise your right arm high to the sky. Open it up. Good. Grow a little bit taller. Exhale, release your hands. Forward fold. From this position, we're going to crawl back to the front of your mat. So you're going to frame your right foot for me, please. Good. We're going to exhale, lower our left knee like we did before. This time, either put your right hand on your thigh, raise your left arm, or bring both arms up with you into your lunge. Good. Take a big inhale. Lean back for me. Exhale. Repeat your half split. So we're going to straighten the right leg. Again, I'm going to bump my left knee back. And then once I straighten my right leg, I can kind of slide the heel forward some. And that's going to give me a little bit more room, but if for you that's too hard, that's okay too. You can do what's best based on movement. Your toes are going to stay lifted here, or we're going to play around again, point and flex three times. One, two, and three. Good. When you're ready, slide your heel back, re-bend your knee, pick up your left knee for me. Step back to plank. Option to do your push-up to up dog to down dog, which is called your vinyasa, or just lift your hips to down dog if you prefer. Good. Exhale. Meet at the back of your mat and down dog. This time, walk your hands to the back of your mat so that you're at the back of your mat in a forward fold. Exhale. Grab the back of your legs. Pull your chest to your thighs and let your head hang heavy here. Good. Maybe even turn your head. Look left to right. Release tension in your neck. And then from there, you're going to bone by bone, rise all the way up to stand. Sweep your arms to the sky. Good. Exhale. Pull your hands to heart center. Now we're going to lift our left leg up high. Exhale your right hand outside of your thigh. Place your left hand behind your lower back. Try to look behind you. If possible, your left arm is going to extend with you. And if you've fallen, come right back into it. Three. Good. Two. Exhale. We're going to cross our left foot over our right foot so our pinky toes are touching. 
then you're gonna fold forward. Now walk your fingertips to the left. You can have blocks under your hands here. Press your hips to the right. And this should feel really good in the outside of your right hip and IT band along the lateral portion of your leg. Good, come back to center slowly as you uncross your legs. Walk your hands out, we'll meet in plank. Option one, knee down side plank. Option two, full side plank. So right knee down, left arm to the sky, or legs lifted. Well, not really legs lifted, but knee lifted. <laughs> Take another full breath in, then we'd really be flying. Exhale to plank, and then we'll land in downward facing dog. Bend your knees a little bit, push back with your hips for me. Good, gaze to your feet. And then you're gonna raise your left leg all the way up into the air with me, please. Good, exhale, step through. Bend your back knee a little bit and then here's your high lunge on this side. I'm gonna take a quick pivot to the other side of the mat. That way I can move with you. Now we're gonna left arm twist, or open arm twist, excuse me, to the left. So again, I'm gonna turn my spine towards you as I turn my torso to my left. Feel free to place your left hand on your low back for support and see if you can twist a little bit further. Good, use your core here. On your next breath in, inhale, come back to neutral. Exhale, release your hands down. Pivot to your right, wide-legged straddle for a second time. This time, place your hands on your ankles, pull your chest to your thighs, and then feel your head come a little closer between your feet. Good. Notice the shape that you're making in your body. See if you can fold forward a little bit more, and then use your arms to pull your torso in. Nice. On your next exhale, release your hands. This time we're going to bend our back right knee at about 90 degrees. Place your left hand closer to your foot and then twist towards the back of your mat. So instead of twisting with straight legs, we're now in a side lunge. Open up a little bit more. Good. Exhale, crawl through center. Same thing, bending through your left knee, right hand down. And again, my right hand is closer to my left foot. And then a big twist here for three. Gaze up if you want for two. Exhale, forward fold, hips high, head low. Relax your back. We're going to stand tall together. We're going to gently open up into goddess pose. So turn your toes at 10 and 2. Place your hands on your thighs and start to bend your knees. We'll do a little bit of side to side movement. Notice how my shoulders are up high, try to relax them. And then if you want, make it harder, hands to heart. Three, close your eyes if you want. Just feel your body in this pose, two. Good, inhale, grow tall, straight arms, straight legs. Exhale, warrior two to the back of your mat. So you're gonna turn your right toes to the back of your mat. Look at my back left foot if you need to, it's turned in a little bit. Extend your arms nice and long. And again, there's this 90 degree bend if available in your right knee. Reverse your warrior by reaching up to the sky, sliding your left hand down your back leg. Exhale slowly, bringing your forearm to your thigh as you reach up. Good, three. Two. And then when you're ready, you're gonna inhale slowly, stand, hands on hips, pivot, pivot, left toes, bend your knee, extend your arms, warrior two, gazes forward over my left arm. Good, inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle. So the goal here is not to fold forward in the pose, but to draw open, reach over your head, extend, Good, take another full round of breath. Exhale, hands on hips just for a hot second to reset. This is the front of your mat, left foot, cartwheel your hands. 
Good, now we're gonna put our right knee down. So again, this is the second time you've been here. Left hand to left thigh, right arm rises, or both hands up. Up to you based on what feels best. Three. Good, two. And one, release your hands down. This time I want you to take your time and you're gonna straighten your front leg, but we're gonna make a transition. All right, so we're gonna turn to the long edge of our mat. Our left toes are turned in and my kneecap is in line with my foot. It's called gate pose. And you're gonna rise up here, okay? We're gonna reach our hand away from our bottom knee and then you're gonna extend your left arm over your head, trying to get some space in the outside of your hip. Three. We'll do the other side as well, then we'll end up back through our flow with our side plank and our chaturanga. Good, two. Exhale, kind of bring your torso forward. Think child's pose, push back a little bit, so feel your low back get closer as you push your hips back. Good, inhale, bring it up. Quick switch. Pop your right foot long, and it doesn't matter which side you're on. Maybe you're on the left. We're going to do both. Good. Inhale. Make sure your knee's in line with your toe, and then we'll take a big transition down to the earth, and then over your head. Three. Good. Two. One more big stretch for me, guys. Exhale. Kind of windmill forward, and again, we push back a little bit. Think child's pose. So... For those of you that come in with tight hips, groin, hamstrings, this is a really good stretch. You can stay in it for a long time if you want. Good. Exhale. Bring your knees together and then boom, just face the front of your mat. Shift your body. We land in high plank together. This time, option one, left knee down, right leg back, side plank. Option two, pick up your bottom knee, side plank. It's called Vashti Stasana. Three, two, high plank is your exhale. Your push up with your knees is available, so lower down. Come up through your back bend. And then I invite you all into child's pose together. Hips to heels, take a moment here to reset. Remember, when your body is new to a form of movement, it's going to be hard. Your heart rate's gonna elevate. You're gonna feel challenged. You're not gonna be sure what you're doing sometimes. So I invite you here just to kind of feel how your body's moving and how you're doing. Good, you're gonna slowly bring your torso back into tabletop. Inhale, we're gonna extend our right arm forward and our left leg back into a pose called bird dog. So you're gonna pull your belly up and in away from the ground. And as you reach forward and back through your leg, you're gonna firm the muscles in your back and in your core. Take a full breath in, stay here, or bend your back knee, reach for your foot. This is hard, so if you can't grab it, no worries. If you can, think about kicking and lifting your foot into your hand, and then reach your heart forward. Good, keep lifting, keep kicking, keep opening your chest. And then exhale, extend forward and back. Good, and then switch sides. Inhale, right leg, left arm, hold. Good, I guess it's left arm, right leg. <laughs> exhale if you want, grab on. And then if you want more, kick and lift, three, two, and release. Head back to child's pose, soften your low back. If you prefer, you can also sit up on your heels. This is called hero's pose, but again, if your knees are feeling really tight or if you're feeling tight in your hips, this can be really challenging. So child's pose is also a great option. Good, let's take three more breaths together. And then we'll take our first dolphin of practice. So your forearms are gonna be down. You're gonna tuck your toes. This is a little bit of core work. And you're gonna raise your bum to the sky. So you're gonna feel the work in your shoulders. Bend your knees a little bit here. Option one, you're gonna stay put or drop your knees. Option two, you're gonna bring your chest forward. 
and then you're going to bring it back. Your butt stays lifted the whole time, okay? Let's do four, only if you want to. Three, two, you have one more, shift forward, and then big shift back. Ready? Push, 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 push. Beautiful. Exhale, drop your knees and breathe out. And that's just a little bit of core work. Shoulder work makes you stronger. Let's do our final down dog here. Tuck your toes, bottom in the air. We're going to lift our right leg up, bend our knee, open up your hip. So this is externally rotating your right thigh reaching your right knee towards the sky. Some of you are gonna feel like you are so tight you can't even bend your knee and open your hips. Some of you are gonna feel like, thank goodness for this quad stretch. So just notice what feels best for you. Then you're gonna re-extend. Good, place your foot down. Let's do the other side, left leg lifts. Bend your knee, open up your hip. Good, push down firmly through your foot that's on the earth. Lift your knee a little higher. Straighten your leg long, exhale, release to down dog. We shift to our plank, and then we're gonna end up lowering to our bellies. Let's try to do it on a three count. Use your knees if you need to. Three, two, one. Take your arms back, locust pose. We're gonna press down into the tops of our feet, press into your palms, try to lift your chest up so your back muscles are firing here. And then if comfortable, lift your feet up. If you're still feeling good, you're more than welcome to lift your arms, but just make sure they don't add any tension to the pose. Think about extending long through your fingertips and your toes. Exhale, flip your hands with me, everybody. Lower one ear down and rest. Good. Full breath in and a full breath out. We're gonna do that one more time. Inhale, start to flip your hands around. And then when you're ready, fly, lift up, 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 up. Squeeze your glutes, firm your quads, extend through your fingers, open up your heart, three. Good, keep reaching, keep lifting, two. Exhale, your opposite ear down, flip your hands. This time, bend your knees. And then windshield wiper your feet. This should feel really good on your low back as you allow yourself to rock side to side. Good, release your legs, inhale, come up slowly into your cobra. So cobra pose, your pelvis is still on the ground. Up dog is where you lift your hips and your thighs. Good, exhale, lower everything, tabletop. Crawl yourself forward and we're gonna end up seated how we started our practice. Nice work. Right leg is gonna extend out. Bring your left foot to your right inner thigh for me. Good, reach both arms up to the sky and we're gonna to turn towards our right leg slowly, rotate. And then you're gonna fold forward over your right leg. If you cannot grab your foot, no biggie. Just fold where you can fold, okay? Three. Two. And they're gonna slowly sit up on one. Switch sides. So this looks just like tree pose if we were standing, but we're seated. Reach up and fold. It's called Janu Shirshasana A. Head to knee pose is the translation. But guess what? If you can't put your head on your knee, it doesn't mean you're bad at yoga. <laughs> so it's okay. Take two more deep breaths. Good, and then you're gonna inhale, rise. Perfect. We're gonna place our hands behind us. We're gonna windshield wiper our knees just like we did in our belly. So just start to move your knees side to side. Good, this is gonna bring us to standing one last time today. Not a down dog, not a push up, just to standing. So you're gonna exhale, do the best you can, ground your feet. Some of you are gonna be able to stand up, ready? without your hands, and some of you are gonna need your hands, so I won't look, just do what you need to do. <laughs> and now we're gonna work our right knee up. So last time we lifted our left knee. We're gonna place our left hand outside of our right leg, put your right hand on your low back, and then slowly turn and look behind you. Option to keep your hand on your low back or to reach your arm out. 
three. Good, two. And one, feet together. Exhale, hold your hips, fold forward. And I want you to release your hands at the bottom and I want you to feel the difference in this forward fold and the one from the beginning of class and how you're feeling. Good, releasing through your low back for three. Two, we're gonna do a pose called toe balance, which is gonna take us to the earth and we will not stand up again, I promise. Come into the balls of your feet. Some of you, this is gonna be a lot on your knees maybe, or just challenging in general. Bring your hands to your heart. And then if you can, you're gonna drop, so I'm gonna show you the harder version first. You're gonna go heels flat and then sit. And then the last hard version is just fall backwards on your butt. <laughs> Exhale, last stretch here, feet together, knees apart. Exhale, fold forward for bound angle. Good, releasing any tension in your inner thighs, releasing your low back here as your body folds in. Three. Good, two. And then we'll slowly rise up. This will bring us onto our backs today. So scoot your bum forward, exhale, lay all the way down onto your back. Hug your knees to your chest as you rock side to side. And then you're gonna plant your feet on the earth. We're gonna start to lift into a bridge pose. So press down into your feet. Lift up with your hips, start to activate the muscles in the posterior chain. So glutes, hamstrings, calf muscles, feel the back body lift up. Exhale, very slowly melt it down. Good, let's do that again. So press down into your feet, take an inhale, exhale, ground down, lift up, up and away, three. Good, stay strong, stay firm here, two. Exhale, slowly melt yourself back down to the earth on one. Beautiful, from there, place your hands on your legs, push into your legs, give yourself some traction, keep pushing down into your feet as well. Good, we're gonna do a little bit of taps with our low back. So you're gonna lift up through your butt and then start to just plop it up and down for five, four, and yes, you're literally just picking up your butt and putting it down and it looks like you're doing patty cake with your bottom. Four, three, two, one, good. Exhale, open up your feet, drop your knees to the right. It's called scissoring the knees. You're gonna bring your right foot on top of your left knee and pull your thigh down. Technically, your foot is on your thigh, not your knee. And you're gonna feel this stretch here through your left quad a lot. Good. Notice the pull here through the hip flexor as well. So if you're really tight, maybe you've done a lot of core work, you can feel this through your core and your ribs, or maybe just in general, your body holds a lot of tension. So this should help release some of the tension. And obviously, my knees are towards the ground. This is a easy pose for me when it comes to movement and if it's not easy for you that's okay the more and more you practice the more your body will start to get comfortable with the movement release your ankle come through center it's just like anything you do right if you have a new project at work it's not easy you don't know what you're doing but you have to do it so you keep doing it and then you understand it right you're like no i fake it till i make it <laughs> can't really fake it in yoga though, you know, because your body, if it can't do it, it can't do it. <laughs> so take a few more breaths here. Good. You've switched sides if you haven't yet switched. And then you're going to gently and carefully bring it back to neutral. Good. Bring both your knees in. Give yourself a big hug. So press your low back down. Rock from side to side for me. So Get that really lovely massage of your lower back. Good. And now you're gonna drop both knees to the right so they're stacked right on top of each other. And then you're gonna open up your left shoulder to the left. You're gonna turn your head to the left. This is called your supine spinal twist. Good, three. Two. And then you'll slowly come back to center on one. Exhale, bump your hips, drop your knees to the other side. Open up your chest. 
good three you might notice that when you twist to one side your low back is a little bit less forgiving or you might notice that you have more room in your chest good come back to center super slow take a pose here called happy baby so bring your knees a little wider than your ribs Option one, you're going to grab your ankles and you're going to pull your knees down. Option two, you're going to grab your feet. And then you're going to pull your knees down into your armpits. And that's going to give you a really lovely opening through the groin. And then you're more than welcome to rock side to side. It's funny, every time a client or a friend or a yoga student has a baby, they show me that their baby does happy baby. And I was like, yep. <laughs> I assume that to be true. <laughs> Bring your feet towards each other. Pull your face towards your feet. Give me a nice stretch here around your spine. Good. Exhale. We're going to release for Shavasana. So this is your corpse pose. And I encourage you to do it. It's, it's short and sweet. Generally, when we practice online together, I try to not extend this pose too long as it is a little harder when you're in your own space whether you're in your home or somewhere else so i invite you just to take a nice couple breaths enjoying the peace of being right here and the beauty about being in your own space or somewhere else as well is that if you do want more time here you're more than welcome to take it no one's going to take that away from you but I encourage you to feel your spine. Let it fall into the earth. I encourage you to feel your sit bones. Let them ground. I encourage you to feel your legs heavy. They've fallen away from each other so they can be relaxed. Big inhale through the nose together. Open mouth. Let's sigh it out. Good. And then inhale, breathe in. Exhale slowly out. Two more rounds of breath. On your next inhale, take your arms, reach all the way up and over your head. Good. Exhale. Pull your knees closely into your chest. Take your time. And then we'll very gently rise to seated together. Hands at heart center as we close our eyes. Good. Feel your body here. Remember, we started our practice in this seat. Maybe you were unsure. Maybe you're uncomfortable. Maybe you're excited to move together. So welcome. Thank you for choosing to be here. Thank you for choosing to practice. As we bow forward together, namaste. Enjoy the rest of your day. And thanks for showing up. Good job.